Hello my friends, I'm back. It feels good to be playing again, I haven't uploaded in a while. For those of you who have kept up with me lately, you'll know that I've had some pretty amazing things happen in my life within the past year. Started a new career, got married, discovered a love for powerlifting for a few things. I've been away from Pokemon for a bit, is the point. Now, learning the growth process from the academy with Mr. Janved helped me vastly improve Pokemon back when I was playing consistently. I started powerlifting and within a year using the same process I qualified for a national championship meet and that was an amazing experience by the way. The environment was just on another level. Point being, the growth and learning process is the same. Pokemon, lifting, whatever it may be. Right. So when I was training, in my training for powerlifting, in the gym I always record my lifts to review my technique and upload them to my YouTube on my other channel, Gardark Works Out, to keep me accountable where everyone can see it. Plus it's fun to upload content anyways. So as a return player in Pokemon, I'd like to apply the same process because I know it works. Upload, play some games, let everyone see the good and bad in my practice sessions, and have it there for analysis. Always be able to go back to it, and people can see my journey. Anyway, so let's get into it. The team I'm using today is a variation of an old team from earlier this generation that brought me some some uh, ah, excuse me some success rather. Um, I've got the Golden Dango, the 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 Chain Chomp right which is an old set that people don't really use anymore uh, the standard sash glamora uh, I've got King Gambit here with the Lumberry Lumberry is very clutch uh, I got the Calm Mind Valiant with Vacuum Wave that'll be pretty uh, important to stealing away some late game King, Ga King Gambits opposing King Gambit uh, bleh, excuse me opposing King Gambits I cannot speak today ladies and gentlemen <laughs> but anyway uh, now this Dragonite this Fly Knight is a throwback to old gens. Uh, the original version of this team, early generation 9, was Terra Blast Flying. But I figured, you know, relying on Terra Blast is too shaky of a technique, so why not just put Fly there and make it old school? But yeah, this, this team feels pretty good for me, so I guess I'll grab a few games. And this is going to be much less uh, cinematic than my typical uploads have been on this channel in the past. Um, figured that'd be a little breath of fresh air for the channel, especially since I haven't uploaded in a little bit. Upload a, a couple of supposed to be funny things. But uh, yeah, just do some chill lives and let's go from there. Get some games. Alright, Fleet Fox. Let's play some game together. Very similar team. Three of the same mons. Uh, it's got very similar archetype. I don't have, obviously, the, the hattery, quite the hazard control that he does. But anyway, let's get into it. So, he's got the uh, Raging Bolt, the Hatterene, the Roaring Moon. He's got the Glamora, the King Gambit, and also the Iron Valiant. Um, I have the Goldengo, the Guard Chomp, the Glamora, the King Gambit, the Iron Valley, and the Dragonite. So, what I'm thinking here is that his Roaring Moon is very dangerous to me. Um, so keeping that at bay is going to be key, especially if he Terra Flyings. So, I want to make sure that we're not letting that take advantage too much. Eh. If I tear a King Gambit, it can... Well, that's already a flaw on the team right there. But we'll work around it. We'll get there. Um, I think the best thing here... Go ahead and get Lamora started. Because if he... What time are we going? Because if he... Hatterenes, I can cripple it immediately with Moral Spin. So... Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Y'all are going to see exactly just how rusty I am at this. How out of touch I am. So let's see if old Gardark still got it. Um, Alright. Hmm. 
could try to get cheeky here and throw up rocks. I don't think I'll do that though. I think I'll just try to smack this before he gets anything substantial up on me. Let's see here. There we go. There goes his glim. Hmm. Okay. I believe I'll throw up rocks here. There we go. That's fine. Um, I go Goldie, which is my resident Valiant check, which still weak to knock off. Not sure I want to blow my Terra here. Actually, I might end up blowing my Terra later. Um, I had recover on this on a previous version of the team, which might need to come back. Psy Shock is really good against like stall builds and stuff. But um hmm. we'll see. Alright, there's bolt. Okay, so he blows his booster energy. It's good. Hmm. Alright, so I could bring in could bring in Garchomp here, but I think I will. You see, I had a feeling he was going to do that, but I didn't want to make a weird prediction. He's already predicting here, so. Alright. Um, Alright. Yeah, well, I'm very out of touch. Although, Earthquake is pretty good against this team. Doesn't really have any resist at this point. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Oh, it's a crit, too. Lucky me, lucky me. Okay, let's see. That's fine. Mm. Being low kick gambit would be nice. Then, I am, then again, I am the vacuum wave. So... I think it's a ball. Yeah, no, that, was, that was the best play. Um, I think I just ball again. Okay, he's definitely gonna. he would and he wouldn't. I'm anticipating the wrong things. Out of touch, my friends. Out of touch. There's the knockoff. Okay, he knew he couldn't kill me from full earlier, so. Mm. If he's knocked, there's a high likelihood that he's also close combat. Do I just win if I do this? Because being on the back foot this whole game is kind of kind of scary. Not a good start. I am starting in the mid 700s, 1700s, low 700s. Excuse me. Yeah, we are lower than a thousand, my friends. Um, here's the moon blast. Please don't drop me. Ah, oh, drop me. That sucks. Why I didn't want that drop. Let's go. Vacuum wave won't kill. Yeah. But we fake out the sucker punch. Not bad. Hmm, he's not terrored yet. I bet he terrors right here. Bet you anything. If he is a terror that would resist.
If he's a neutral Terra, then I would still kill. Mm. I think it's worth a shot. Okay. All right, he definitely Terra flying's here. Unless I'm tripping and he already teared. I just wasn't paying attention or something. No, he didn't. I'm right. Okay, so yeah, he Terra's flying, and I believe I can sucker punch him. Or, actually, oh, yeah, that wasn't bad. Four, two. That wouldn't kill anyway, so I need Dragon Dance. All right, and that's game. Unless he roosts. I don't know if he's some kind of roost variant. I got him. All right. We do come away in the first one with a win. Okay. I need to save that replay. As a matter of fact, I'll just go back for it later and make a collection here of my replays so I can review them. Just watch the video too. That's what it's for. Hear my thought process. And uh, we will move on to the next one. Constructive positive criticism is welcomed in the comments, by the way. That's all I'll say. Okay, let's grab another one. Managed to come away with one. I don't feel like I was in too much control there, though, so I need to plan better. Um, all right, here we go. Okay. Latios, Moltres, Weavile, Claude Sire, King Gambit, and Iron Valiant. Interesting team. Golden Go, Garchomp, Glamora, King Gambit, Iron Valley, Dragonite. I need to start doing more connect the dots like I used to. So, dedicated to check towards Latios is either going to be... Ooh, uh, what is that going to be? It's going to have to be offensive with Valiant, honestly. Because... Well, it could be King Gambit. I mean, it could be Golden Go, but given that it doesn't have root, uh, Recover, rather... I'm going to need the Gold Ingo for the Iron Valiant, so it'll be between these two. So the Moltres, I can check with Garchomp, it's a soft check, but it's something. Could probably bop it with a Power Gym from Glamora at some point. Um, the Weavile, they always carry Low Kick here, so it's definitely not a King Gambit check there. That's a problem. Iron Valiant is good offensively. Um, the Claude Sire, I can smoke it with Garchomp or potentially Dragonite. In order, to, I got. I'm going to be able to do the Balloon Gold on it with Psy Shock. So that's the plan for that. King Gambit still a problem. Always has been. Again, offensively with the Vacuum Wave. That's why the Vacuum Wave is there. And Valiant, like I just mentioned, the Goldango. Glamora to an extent, but not. it can only do so much. If I Terra the Dragonite, it could potentially, in certain situations, do something against the Valiant. But I think I have to lead... Hmm... Keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple, stupid. I'm a very guilty of overthinking things. So I would like to go ahead and just get the rocks up. Potential choice band on the Weavile. Get 25% off of that. Um, <clears throat> now let's see here. All right, Claude Sire. Um... Only choice is to go Garchomp on the Moltres. A little bit of chip there. Latios. Okay, that's probably a scar for a choice of some sort. I'm not going to wait around to figure it out, though. So, Glamora can go ahead and go bye-bye here. So, it's definitely acting like it's 
choice. Hmm. You know what I might do? No, no, it's too early for that. Um, I was thinking of going Dragonite tearing and just setting up, but way too early. Risking too much with the Valiant outspeeding, the Weavile's shard, and then burning myself on the Moltres. Let's go, I believe we just go King, ben, King Gambit and hit, because, so what do we hit with? Yeah. That is why we're lum. Um, okay. Hmm. He doesn't have removal. I don't know why I didn't notice that during preview. That's definitely a... Uh, Okay, so that's definitely a factor there. He's mostly gonna be boots, probably. Well, the Claude Sires. Yeah, stack up spikes here. There's not much he does to hurt guard jump. He could hurricane, but. Oh, okay. You've activated my trap card, sir. <laughs> yeah, boy, at the dead Moltres. Uh, no, it's boots. I'm retarded. Dude. I'm just not catching on today. Okay. Now. What do we do here? What do we do, folks? What do we do here? As if I can hear you while I'm recording this. Um... Yeah, okay. So let's look at the calculator here. Scarf. Crit. Yeah, so the crit did 55. It's scarfed. Definitely scarfed. Well, the good thing, the good news is that he already blew his Terra, so I keep uh, I keep pressure on it. Man, see, another thing I was thinking for this team was having Psy Shock on Valiant. It would help bop that Cloud Sire. All right, we get the flinch. Deal. Okay. We are doing okay here. Something tells me I go Dragonite and I encourage this Latios to come in. Hmm. Alright. Let's see what you are. Your boots. So he's going to triple axle me here. Hmm. Here's what I can do. Here's what I can do. I can sack chomp. Alright. That works too. Um, all right, go this and smack. We tear up. Watch him, watch him axle here. That'd be crazy. All right, he didn't axle. Smart play, sir. Smart play. 
All right, let's go. Okay, he luster purges. He does not kill me from that. Um, okay. All right, I'm, I'm all right with that. I'm okay with that. Um, Latios is dead, which is good news. Okay. As expected. Mm, more Betty Toxics. What I need here, actually, is the Dragonite to be set up. Uh, actually, what I need here is the Dragonite to break, so... He hard earthquake. I swore he would Toxic. Alright, um... Hmm... Makes things interesting. Ooh, okay. Um, I'm okay with this. I think my friend just choked here. Yeah, yeah, he just choked. Okay. Yeah, this moon blast doesn't do nearly enough as he needs it to. So, what's up? Let's go fly night. Let's go Fly Knight. Oh no. <laughs> there goes Fly Knight. No! I'm, I lose. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that sucks. That sucks. <laughs> Keep getting the drops. Keep getting the drops. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, she keeps getting the drops. Keep getting the drops. Okay, I lose. Oh, man. I don't know why I wasn't expecting Destiny Bot, and those do run that. Okay, GG. Go back and get those. Okay, so we have a win and a loss. I'm, uh... One of the things that I need to re-figure out is just better planning, road mapping. Um... That, and I'm not really thinking about value turn by turn. I'm kind of thinking in a reactive sort of way. Um, yeah, I need to recalibrate my mind to think about those concepts, right? Roadmaps and value. All right, so we are currently one and one. Let's see if we can end off with a, with a, uh, with a win here. You know, Sinischa is one of those Pokemon this generation that is just really, really annoying to me. <laughs> I hate fighting against it. Because I never build for it. And... Let's see. Let's see here. Yeah. Things freaking you, you, but yet it always finds a way to pop up on me. Okay, so... What is this thing? Yeah, so right off the bat... Valiant looks pretty powerful. I would like to hit with Guard Chomp primarily. Perhaps catch that Corviknight with Fire Blast. I think this is a Guard Chomp lead this time. Okay. Um. Hmm. Yeah, he got me on that. Hmm. Okay, here's what I'll do. Get rocks up. Hmm. 
And the spikes are irrelevant because he has a pheasant deepity, however you say it. Right, exactly. Okay, so here we go. So with that Tinglu, the spikes might be really good. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Exactly, bring in that Corviknight. There we go. See, there's a plan coming into place. That's Boots Rye, um, meaning that Iron Valiant will outspeed it exactly with one chance to do so. That is going to be Scar. Um, I mean, Ice Beam. Okay, so, and I bet he can Focus Blast here. What do I need to keep King Gambit for? Besides just late game overpoweredness. Hmm. Huh, I was numb anyway. Do it again, buddy. Do it again. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh my goodness. Okay. Alright, so he's not boots. Potentially the loaded, loaded dice set. Uh, I would like to just hit here. Yeah, exactly. Uh, sucker. Yeah, so King Gambit definitely a pressure mon this this game here. Yeah, I think I'm doing... Yeah, yeah, okay. I think I did that a lot better that time from a... Uh, planning perspective. I didn't really talk it out as much, but my ideas kind of came to fruition there a little bit. Uh, it was better. It wasn't, it wasn't, um, it wasn't stellar or anything, but, uh, that was definitely sort of starting to come back to my old self there. Um, yeah. Okay. So that'll be pretty much all for this session. So thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.